So it is our final day. So like we have to be at the airport in a few hours and I thought we would look at the view one more time. And there's already people out there and we've seen people crossing the street um, to go to the beach already. But Kevin and I have all of our stuff packed up in the room. And um, so now Ashley, Ashley still is asleep actually because we got up early. Um, but she still has to pack up some of her stuff, just a few things. And uh, like her computer because she was using it last night, stuff like that. And then I'll, um, I'll show you the room one more time before we leave it. But it's another, it's going to be another beautiful day here. And it's, it's been a lot of fun, honey, Kevin. We've, we've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed it very much. Yeah, our bags are absolutely stuffed. And this is a last look around the room before we go. That's it. put your bags through this agriculture inspection and it's only for the check-in bags so like this one we're taking on the plane this one doesn't have to go through there but kevin and ashley have two big bags and it has to be checked okay what ended up being kevin's bag weighs okay 64 yeah it's gonna be 130 dollars just for this one bag now we're gonna put ashley's up here we're gonna see how much hers weighs Hers weighs 60, 60. pounds, so, <laughs> so another it'll probably be another $100. So it was $260 to 
two for these two bags because they You'll were over the 50 pound too. limit. Yeah. So this is um, this is at the airport, and a lot of the restaurants, well, all the restaurants at the gates are closed. So once you go through, keep your boarding pass because in order to go to the food court to actually buy food, you have to show your boarding pass to get back out. I actually got a California pizza kitchen at the airport. Okay, we're getting on the first plane on the way home. This will be the. Uh, flight from Honolulu to um, California to LAX and it'll be a five-hour flight. We just landed in LA. We had a five hour flight. Um, Kevin was able to get the fireworks out the plane window as we landed. So I can't wait to see that footage when we get home. But hopefully it won't be as busy here as it was last time we were here. Hopefully we get to we're leaving from the same gate. Yeah, we're leaving from the same gate that we came in on, which is wonderful. Yeah, really. We'll see how busy it is. Okay, 
the same place we exited. We're now entering to go to Atlanta. And this will be another uh, five hour flight. I do have to say that at LAX, they don't have hardly any food places open. Uh, in, in, the in the terminal we're in, Jer they had a Jersey Mike's, they had a Starbucks and a fish place. So we just got some chips from the store. Even a bunch of the stores were closed. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of the stores were closed. So like I wanted to get a sweatshirt or something that said Los Angeles. Nope, couldn't do that. They all said like uh, teams, like Lakers or Dodgers and stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. They didn't have just, just like Los Angeles or California or something like that. So that was like a four and a half hour flight and we are now in Atlanta and the time changed. So it's uh, 5.30 in the morning and uh, on the, the next day. Yeah, and now it's July 5th. <laughs> so this is in the Atlanta airport. And look how pretty this is. Look how pretty this is on their selling. Very pretty. So we got finally got to somewhere where we have time to, to eat something and nothing's open. Literally, nothing is open. It, well, Starbucks opens at six. Okay, well it's like what three minutes till? It's five fifty eight. But now Krispy Kreme opens at it says it opens at five thirty a.m. Well, it's not. It wasn't open. I watched on the first flight. I watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And I watched um, The Hangover. Chicken Filet says it's open at 5 a.m. Do you see that right there? Well, where is it? Uh, yeah, but it says Yeah, but, but it also says it. Too. Yeah, and it's not. And then on the second flight, I watched Titanic, which I hadn't seen in a long time. I've heard how depressing it was. Oh, I love it. I, I, I hadn't watched it in so long. So I watched Titanic. What did you all watch? Ashley, what did you watch? Um, Do you remember what you watched the I finished, first one? No. no. I watched two documentaries about education. And then I watched The Witches, the new one. And then I watched... That Superman one. I think I had watched that a long time ago. Finding Superman or something. Waiting for Superman or something. It's what interesting if, to see that from a public school teacher's perspective. Right. So... So, Kevin, what did you watch? He was watching all kinds of weird stuff over um, there. I watched The Martian. The Martian. And I don't know what I watched. I know he Dumb watched and Impractical Jokers. <laughs> yeah, that's just when I was feeling a little tired. What was the moment I watched? Dumb actually? and Dumber. That was actually. just Sunday, now. Sunday with a bowl cut. All I know. Yeah, it was Dumb and Dumber. I'd never seen it before. Um, I didn't watch Inception, but I did watch The Martian. I can't remember what else I watched. There was another movie I watched after after I watched. Uh, oh, the you! Martian. I saw you watching that dragon movie. Yeah, Raya. Yeah. Did you watch like it, it all? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't good. It was a good movie. It was a one-time movie. There's a lot of things in there. Kids would not have a clue what to watch. Right. That's um, how I felt about the movie Soul. It. I thought Soul was it was way deep, too man. deep for. The bad thing is, the good thing about Soul was it had cute little like things going on. Yeah. That Raya thing really didn't have any funny. I mean, there was. There was three characters that were kind of funny, but beyond that, there was really nothing for a kid to really go, oh, that's funny. You right. Know? And I don't remember what the other if you're I'll wondering, think of it in a minute. If you're wondering why I'm not worried about my mask, I'm going to show you. This is the area for Lexington, and nobody's here. Not one. No, there will be people here, but like there's Starbucks, and it said they opened at six. 
Nobody's in there to open it up. COVID. And it's six o'clock. COVID and stuff. Is so no, absolutely nobody's around here, and that's why I, that's why I didn't have my mask because it's like. Do but anyway, the Chick Fil A's open. Yeah. Okay, so we went to Chick Fil A for breakfast, and I got some hash browns, and I got a drink, and I got some chicken minis, and I'll show you those um, as soon as I'm finished eating these. So here are the chicken minis, which by the way, those hash browns were absolutely delicious. Wish they sold those all during the day. Here's Kevin's chicken sandwich and Ashley got the same thing, I'll a, put a chicken uh, biscuit. Um, yeah, I wish they sold those hash browns all day long. Yeah, that's what she does. <laughs> okay, we're on our final, we're getting on our final flight. It's only like an hour and 15 minutes long. And then we'll be back in Lexington. That flight was only like an hour and 10 minutes maybe. Wasn't very yeah, long at all. Yeah, he did. He, it was a good flight. No. It's okay if you do. I doubt. We're back in Lexington. In the bluegrass. There's lots of people waiting too. Usually it's not like this when we come in at night. Oh wow, they've opened a whole bourbon store. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Cork and Barrel. That's cool. Cork and Barrel, yeah. I did not know that they had done that. But, uh, I don't know. When we tell people we're the bourbon capital of the world, we really are. <laughs> Ashley, that's her, that's her way up there because she, <laughs> <laughs> she's like yeah you gotta hurry up why she's like I've been up for 20 hours and you all been up for 21 hours here we go three throw the mask away and don't ever retrieve it again. Sick of wearing a mask.